Hello kids, welcome back to Alchemy Online Class. This is Niketa Parikh. I hope you all are fine, doing well at your home, keeping social distancing, wearing masks and using sanitizers. And pray for the good days to come soon. Okay? So, moreover, today we are going to talk, talk on our surrounding. So, do you like the place of your living? I have few more questions to ask you all, but this question you only have to answer me. Yes or no? If yes, then why? Okay? What surrounds the place of living? Where do you all go for jogging and for playing? What is an ideal place of living for you all? And one more question I have. Can you imagine a city without trees or without greeneries? So let's start from the first question. The first question that I have asked you was, do you like your place of living? If yes, then why? What you will do, you all will answer me for this question. You can write it in your notebook as well. Okay? Because you know better your place of living. Okay? Second question that I have asked you was, what surrounds the place of living? So students, what surrounds the place of living is the people, our neighborhood, okay? The greenery, the plants, okay? The living organisms that surround us or in environment we also studied, that place is also called as the environment, okay? That surrounds us all over. Next question was, where do you all go for jogging and play? This question I am definitely sure you know, okay? We mostly go to gardens, we go to parks, we go to sidewalks or we also go to a place where there is a minimal traffic or I can say less crowded areas. We prefer to go for jogging and for playing. Okay. Next question after this was what is an ideal place of living? Now see students, ideal place of living means a place of living which makes you feel very happy, very jolly, very comfortable to stay. So, this answer will be different for all of us, okay? For me, the ideal place of living is where my heart is very happy, where I feel very comfortable, where my surrounding is full of peace, full of happiness, okay? And full of greenery, okay? Everything, my neighborhoods are also good in talking terms, so that will be considered as an ideal place of living for me. Now, after this, you will open your course book. That is chapter number 4, The Cypress Street. Come to the iConnect section. We're going to discuss few things on iConnect. Let's have a look. So, students, this is the topic number 4. That is poem number 4, The Cypress Street. iConnect section. Let's read it out. This city is a blend of natural things as well as human constructions. What do you see? Can you see in the picture? There are lots of buildings over there, trees, lots of greenery you can see. So let's read it. Tree-lined streets and pathways, well-maintained gardens, parks alongside the beautiful buildings and architectural monuments. The cityscape is beautiful with long winding roads and well-planned neighborhoods. All these things you can see in the picture. You also observe it in a very good manner. Okay. So our new topic that we will study this week will be the cypress tree which is poem number 4. Okay, it's a cypress tree is named on one city. Okay, one city and cypress meaning is an evergreen coniferous trees with small rounded woody cones. Okay students, now let's come to ivy section of our poem number 4 that is the cypress street. Let us read about a street called cypress street where there were no cypress trees. Students have already explained you the meaning of cypress. Cypress means evergreen coniferous trees. This poem is written by Todd Michael St. Pierre or I can say the poet name is Todd Michael St. Pierre. Do you remember this? Now let's start with the first stanza. I took a stroll down cypress street, the hot side walk beneath my feet. The one thing that stood out the most where trees once stood, there were lampposts. I had never seen so much concrete. No cypress left on Cypress Street. According to my auntie Kim, there used to be a lot of them. They cut them down. They took their wood. A treeless street is plumb no good. Just like a treeless neighborhood. So tell the mayor next time they meet, to change the name to Lamppost Street. Now let's read the word buddies. That means the words with its proper meaning. Stroll. The first word is S-T-R-O-L-L. -L, stroll. 
meaning of stroll is to walk leisurely to walk leisurely means to walk in a very fun way sidewalk means pavement okay where we where we prefer to walk on side of the road we call it as pavement or sidewalk okay concrete means that is the third word is concrete its meaning is a combination of cement small stones and water we call it as concrete do read the poem again with proper intonation and study word buddies and try to write it also in your notebook that's all for the day today thank you have a nice day